Hey guys, how's it going? Right now we're taking a couple moments to answer any questions we have. And I just got a text come in about ulnar nerve slacking. And I really love this question because we do a lot of tensioning on nerves, but we forget that they like to be slacked as well, which is basically do the exact opposite. So one thing I wanna mention about this is you are one big nerve. Just because there's a nerve ending over here and a nerve ending over here does not mean they are separate. You're basically one tree branch with a bunch, or sorry, one tree trunk with a bunch of branches. So if I do anything to the nerve on my right arm, I'm actually doing something to the nerve on the left, okay? So just keep that in mind. Um, I know it's kind of a hard concept because it feels like your foot is not connected to your hand, but in actuality, it really is. So if nerve tensioning is not working, this is an ulnar nerve tensioning sequence, we're gonna take it into a slack position and see if the client gets any relief or less discomfort than they're currently experiencing. So for this, you're just gonna lengthen up super tall and instead of a horizontal abduction, you're gonna bring that arm over and across your body flex your wrist and flex your fingers. You're gonna bring your shoulder up towards your ear and then your ear towards that very same shoulder. And you can do some nodding here or just simply release and contract or you can just hug and squeeze. So it's like you're hugging a little teddy bear and then gently come out of it. If that doesn't work, you can come up and in, do the exact same thing. Do an eye circle in each direction. Take a couple breaths. Try to do really good belly breathing. So we can stack different systems. Vision, vestibular if you want, and breathing is a really big deal. And gently unwind from that and reassess if there is any change. Let me know if you have any questions. That is an ulnar nerve slacking sequence.